Alright, what's good YouTube? How y'all doing today? Um, today we're bringing you uh, Mondays with Murdoch, but on a Tuesday. Um, so what happened was, uh, yesterday obviously was the 26th, it was the day after Christmas. Um, I was personally busy with my mom. Um, I'm usually pretty busy, man, over the holidays, um, Thanksgiving, all of them. And uh, so Friday, or yeah, Saturday I was with my grandma, or no, so Saturday I was with... Um, Ethan and Alex's grandma. Um, Sunday I was with my grandma, and then Monday I was with my mom. So there it is. That was my weekend. Um, so first on the agenda, we're gonna show you some gifts we got. Uh, I personally don't ask for gifts. I I really didn't get anything yet. Um, Ethan and Alex's mom got me a gift, which will be on stream. It's probably the one of the best gifts I've ever received. So um, shout out to Susie for that. Um, but yeah, uh, we're getting ready to start this podcast today. We're going to be talking about music and uh, I'm excited. So I hope you guys enjoy and, uh, please chat a little bit. I love music. It's going to be a big podcast po probably. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and start opening up gifts that we got. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy this. All right, here we go. All right. All right. Um, Ethan, I'm going to let you go first. I'm going to let you, uh, like I said, guys, we're going to open up, well, not open up, but show you guys the gifts we got over Christmas. Again, I did it. I didn't get much. Um, I did shout out your guy, uh, your guys' mom because I think that's going to be probably the best gift I've received in a very long time. So uh, shout out to Susie again one more time, YouTube, Twitch. She's okay. awesome. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to start with uh, Ethan. Cause I know, I know for a fact that we got a lot on our side. All right, so starting off with the simple stuff, I got this from Megan's sister. This is how I got the, you know, my favorite thing that her sister's ever gotten me. A nice. Oh, oh nice. that oh, is badass! Oh. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. When I got it, I was like, oh, cool! It's like popcorn, and there's some jerky in there, and it's That's cool. What kind of crack? Wait, Jack. Black Jack pepper and, and popcorn. What's that? Yeah, there's cracked black pepper and sea salt popcorn in this. Oh, sea salt ah. popcorn, man, that's got to be good, bro. Yeah, we'll we'll try it on Saturday, Murdoch. I don't uh, really like popcorn, but like sea salt, yeah. that's got to oh, yeah. be good. Sea salt popcorn, that's the shit. And then came with a bottle opener. Uh, it looks like a Bigfoot, of course. Uh, oh, I, I can't love really it. See it on but then, head. obviously, like I said, my favorite thing, of course. The fucking now I mug. Beer. My beer drinking glass. Uh, we know how to do it over here. Now, just guys, I, I can't believe I find there's Sasquatch. We have found Sasquatch. <laughs> uh, and then I also got this big ass blanket. It it's like fucking three, four pounds. <laughs> Very comfy. Oh man, those are the best. Oh yeah, Megan's already said it's hers. I'm like, no, it's not. It had my name. Nah, nah, nah. She nah. Oh yeah, yeah. They got the names mixed up. Okay. In, co in communist Russia, your blanket is our blanket. <laughs> so, <laughs> so like for me, for me, all I really got, um, like I said, was uh, some money. But like that shit all goes to Alex. Yeah, I got way. gift cards and money, and then. But then our our little our little uh, Evan he got some clothes he got he got some clothes. Did oh, he get I love some clothes? It. Go explore! Oh my god, that's so cute. Uh, then he also got a oh, bunch of hats. This one has years. That, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this publicly for YouTube and Twitch. Ethan, if your boy ever gets in the sports, hit me up, bro. Oh my god, hit that's me so up. Cute. You know I know about everything about sports, bro. Just oh, hit yeah. me up. I'll tell him about hockey. You can teach him the rest. <laughs> yeah, hockey's a little iffy for me, but yeah, I'll yeah. try. I, I, then, I'll read up on that shit. This has, Is that little bears? Yeah, all bears. Has your little, oh my little god. Fox, the hat. Little hat. The yep. hats are what get me. Uh, it has a <laughs> thing on top. The bears. So. Yeah, they could, her parents couldn't wait till the baby shower, so. Oh, well, okay, that's not, that's I mean, it's not like, a bad thing. It's like mom literally Thanks, going Gigi. and buying an outfit one, you know, like, the next day after we told I her. I know! <laughs> yeah, and then money and gift cards. This is all. My wallet is 
thick as shit now because of it. <laughs> nice and but thick. That's that's about all I got. So I got a candle today. I bought myself a candle. Oh uh, well, you know. I'm gonna we went to Bath and Body Works. I'm gonna sh- I'm gonna shout my myself out real just real quick. You know, look, I, this is not sponsored. Okay, this is not sponsored. But this shit. My God. That was his Christmas present oh, to himself. Speaking of shouting out, uh, I forgot still... another big present I got. Um, you can see my face now, and that's because you know Murdoch Gamer over here. He's he's got the big boy moves. I got the hook up, got baby. Me a, got me this this lovely webcam. So we love it. I can finally see everyone can see my ugly face. Yay! Yay! <laughs> In 4K. Oh. In 4K. <laughs> No, actually, it's only 1080p. It's only a 7... Is it 1080p oh, it was... or 720? No, I can't 7... remember. 720, and I think it's 60 FPS. Oh. Yeah, so... fuck, I can't remember. Not bad. Really. I, it still looks good, so... All right, Alex. So, more or less, our gifts we got... Um, Speaking of that, here is my bottle opener that I have to remember, hopefully, for the party. It's... uh, I want to shout this out, because we actually talked about this game this is actually from a game i bought this it was call of duty infinite warfare it's the jackal and i've had oh, it yeah, ever it since is. it was for the endowment like you, they actually had stuff you could buy and i bought it for the endowment so how did i how do i get in this combo right there you got in it seriously i just shouted you out i don't know if you heard that i just shouted you out <laughs> Well, uh, fuck it. Well, what's one more shout out, right? Thank I, you, Susie. I, I know, I, I know you. I didn't get my gift yet, but I, like I said, I think it's gonna be the best gift that I've received in a very, very, very long time. Um, until Cadence is born, of course. But what we got for our Christmas um would be a lot of Cadence clothes. So, Alex, take it away. We can go. We can get a whole lot of clothes, but well, a lot of baby stuff. And I, I have a shout out my, baby my stuff. aunt, uh, my cousin's, my cousin's mom, my aunt. Um, man, she she really brought brought the gifts. Mary, Mary's showed her up. name. She showed up. For the most part, it's just like a whole bunch of baby wash, baby oil, shampoo, stuff like that. But she got us a little baby's first Christmas. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. She got us a little photo album. Which, for pictures. I, oh, yeah. I mean, I don't think those are hard to find, but like... No, but that was still a... I remember having mine when I was a kid, honestly. Chris got an ornament from, from her. I think, what's it? What's the year say on it? Is this 2021. Like, I was going to say, I think I said 2021, honestly. <laughs> oh, it's, the, it's fine. It's only a year. Here's the other ornament picture frame she got us. It's cute. I like it, too. I think that in there would probably be like and, a family one, probably. Yeah, we, that probably could be. That is a good idea. And then she... Yeah, piggy bank. A little piggy bank jar, yeah. My God. For a little, for a little C. <laughs> oh, a teether either they all look the same yeah but the more we have the better she got us a a little air freshener for like the car or now before we go any further i know that one of my said i thought it said 2021 i didn't notice that till just now honestly i ain't gonna yeah it it does Um, but that's all right going to bed in case there's baby action tonight (laughs) um the baby I, I, action already happened. I, what, wait, what? Oh, baby action. Okay. <laughs> oh. I'm like, chill. Wait a second. I, was chill, like, I don't want to know chill. that. Goddamn. <laughs> chill, bro. Um, but no. Uh, like, I, I want to shout out some my my aunt Mary. She's you know. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh my god. <laughs> she. <laughs> She's a little different, so I, these gifts really came through. Like she's yeah, a little different. She, she got these us these nice gifts really blanket. came through. So nice little blanket. Yeah, she did. Yeah, it looks like she pulled. She pulled. Through. Yeah. 
What's the... You gonna show the, the bat things? Yeah, I'm gonna show. That's for the dogs. <laughs> the dogs. Came with a chew toy, right. but they already got them downstairs. All right. right. Let me get all the little bat things out. Okay. Little bat nightlight. Huh? And then these are little... Hang them on the wall. They have uh, lights in them. This one's the one that... That's wicked. That scared me, honestly. I ain't gonna That's lie. wicked. That's wicked. Okay, and then... This is a little swaddling blanket in the shape of a bat. Oh my god. Yeah, that might be hard the... to show up. Like... Well, I gotta find is... the... <laughs> Yeah, I wonder what Cadence's favorite holiday is going to be. Huh? <laughs> that comes with a little hat with, with some bad ears. Let me see if I can dig it out. My yeah. luck's going to be freaking Christmas or something. Yeah. <laughs> my luck. And then... Oh my god. <laughs> Isn't that the cutest little thing? And then I got a taco holder. But yeah, it was a little too big to bring up here. <laughs> Definitely worth it though. Yeah. We just had quesadillas the other day. Quesadilla. Oh. But we didn't have no tacos. So, I mean, you can't really put that in the holder. True. All right. So I don't really think there was any world news to talk about. But if there was, I don't give a fuck. Uh, I gotta Christmas. talk about Christmas happened. Yeah, whatever. Fuck okay. it. So. Uh, <laughs> Let me tell you something, okay? We're gonna be talking about music. Get away, please. Go away. Moose stick? We're talking about moose stick? So, yeah, moose no. stick. <laughs> so, um, I don't know if you guys know this, um, Twitch, YouTube, everyone. Um, I had a. <sighs> he became a friend of me and Alex's. Um, he he came to the wedding. Um, he was actually, I think, the only one in the tux. He was. I mean, Nobody after the fa after one. the formal the formal setting that we had, he was the only one nope. in the tux. Nobody um, warned the poor man. <laughs> his name is Cole Davidson. Okay, who's that? Yeah, and <laughs> I, I follow him on Instagram. Now, obviously, like I said, we're 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 technically friends now. But he shared somebody that I really have to shout out. Because I had no idea who she was at first. I like, so when I first heard her voice, it really stood out. You can ask Alex. Her voice is absolutely incredible. Um, her name is Evelyn Cormier. Um, I actually might go ahead and show you her YouTube page and everything because... Like I said, her voice is absolutely incredible. Um, let me just go ahead and do this real quick. Um, right here is her YouTube page. She is a very, very good singer. Her voice is incredible. But it doesn't end there. She actually was a finalist in American Idol. And he is playing with her. In a yeah. Couple, I th is it a couple nights he's playing with her? It's in, like the 5th of January or something. In, or some, It's something like that. In Vermont. So um, I just need to shout her out because holy dude. I When Katy Perry said it was one of the best voices she's ever heard. Yeah. I can respect that. Because I, first, like, I didn't even look. I had my phone, and it was laying on the table, okay? And I opened up his Instagram post, and I heard him singing, which I love his songs, and I heard her voice come on, and I'm like, who is that? I didn't know who it was at first. I was like, that's Uncle Davidson. But yes, I had to check that out because I just found out. I literally just, well, two days ago. Yeah. So yeah, because you were asking me about her, and I was like, I don't know, I didn't pay any attention. It took me, it took me forever to find out she was singing <laughs> a cover, a cover song. But like, holy fuck, her voice is incredible. 
like I said, she was a finalist in uh, American Idol, and I was like, oh, okay, that's pretty That's pretty wild. There's clips of it everywhere, but I had to say that. Let's get on with the overrated, underrated. I'm going to start Evelyn and Cole, underrated. <laughs> okay, we can move on from that. <laughs> I'll I'll say no opinion because I I mean I've never really listened I mean I've listened to him but I've never listened. Like to him. I I know what you mean. I just don't you, like I, I well I, I'm not saying I don't like that kind of music I just don't listen to that kind of yeah, music. Yeah, you're right, right. But I do like it. I do like that kind of music. Well, Alex, just hit Pokey start. <laughs> Trying to catch Pokemon on my stream, bro. Do I get to choose what Pokemon? No. Catch the Pokemon. Or does it just give me Torchic? Light it up like I'm Torchic. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> does anyone got any. Do we want to do songs or do we want to do like. Because, uh, like. Uh, let's do both. So we could probably do both. I was thinking, like. Oh, yeah, we could it'd be nice do to do. It'd be nice to do albums, but anymore, you don't sit here about any good albums to drop. Like the wow, last wow. album that I heard drop was uh Disturbed back in November. That was it. But like that yeah, was all that I've, was all year. <laughs> that mean, was I'm, all... I'm stuck in the nineties and two thousands, so you know all the music I listen to is old. <clears throat> I mean, yeah. But oh, well that just reminds me of a band. Uh I don't know if anyone's ever heard of Ginger, but they're in up. Well, they they've been around. They've been around for a while, but they're starting to like take off now. And I mean, I've seen people on Facebook mention them. And I mean, Chris, you'll have to check them out sometimes. It it you, you'll be it's a shock value. That's for damn sure. <laughs> maybe yeah, I don't. Know. Maybe here I'll I'll show you soon what it what it is. Well, but, I mean, technically uh, I can look at them up right now. All right. Uh. Well, you'll want to look up Ginger Pisces uh, Live. You'll want to look that up. And it's it's a it's a J, not a G. So, and they're both J's for Ginger. They're a Ukrainian band, by the, by the way. Does it matter what uh, live session or? Uh, preferably Pisces, because there there's a reason why you listen to that one first. That's why everyone's always like, listen to this song first. But I think I don't think they're overrated or underrated. I think they're right where they need to be. They're starting to really take off, and and I mean, there's a obviously, like I said, there's a reason why. So, yeah, because I can mute the audio on this PC, so it don't come through. Yeah, yeah, but you can still hear it. You said they're from where? Uh, Ukraine. They're Ukrainian. I know their lead singer's name is Tatiana, so that's a very yeah. She got some big holes in her ear. Yeah, <laughs> like they're big. <laughs> they're yeah. big. Yeah, she got. She has big gauges. <laughs> I'm not one for like gauges, though. I don't know. I just yeah. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of them either. But whatever. I mean, like the bigger one, I can uh, little one, uh, whatever, whatever you yeah. want to do. But like the bigger ones. <laughs> It's a live reaction right here. That that face change, like oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's her. Say, that's her saying singing that. <laughs> and I mean, at the end of the day, you can love like that kind of stuff. You could hate that kind of stuff. You gotta admit that's pretty damn impressive that you can do that kind of shit. Maybe she's the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Like that, 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 wait, yeah, that, whoa, whoa, yeah, that yeah. came out of, that came out of that little you're thing. Like, you're like, Bro. you're listening to her, you're like, yeah, she's a great singer, she has a really nice voice, and then she does that, and you're like, Bro, okay, let uh -huh. me just, I, I don't know if Alex is, like, doing anything, let me tell you right now, bro. She's like 130 pounds, and not boys. Yeah, yeah. Like, where did I come from, bro? <laughs> like, that's my reaction right now. Yeah, where did like, like, I come from? Like, oh, yeah, she had a great voice, great voice. And then she starts doing that, you're like, still a great voice. It's still a great voice. Great voice. Still a great voice. Like, I, I like God, that, damn. but like. But see, I when I when I like music, when I, well, I listen to music, I like dynamic, you know? Yeah. So, like. 
She's singing very... soft. Look, I'm getting, I'm getting, honestly, I'm getting cold chills. That means I like it. So, like, when she's singing soft right now, and then she hits that, it's like, I like so, yeah, that. Yep. That's that's why they're really, like, they're starting to be big. They actually, they have a lot of reggae in their songs, too. So, oh. there's, like, one song, the outro to it is, it's just a reggae uh, vibe, and it's really good. And it's really catchy. I'm like, oh my god, this song's amazing. Kind of cool. Okay. <laughs> this band's so, yeah. fucking awesome. So yeah, to be fair, I would play this shit uh, Twitch YouTube, but like, I, bro, I got, I got, I don't got copyright strikes, but I got copyright oh. warnings, you know. So I ain't doing yeah, that. Yeah. I ain't doing that. Do I care the fuck about my Twitch getting copyrighted? No, I got, I got three strikes left on that motherfucker. But I don't. YouTube, no, not, not, that's why we switched Discords. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't have an opinion on them, but th that was, they have Spotify, I'm assuming. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They're all over Spotify. They, like I said, they've been around for a while, m longer than you think, because their first album was years ago, but it's not that good. Their first album wasn't that great, but then they, it, they took like, what is it? Yeah, maybe six started. Years, a six year between the albums. And then they came in and they, no, no, not six years, four. They came back four years later, and they, oh my god, they're killing it now. So, uh, I will say, most of my, uh, the music I listen to, I'm, I'm just gonna straight up just tell everybody right now, it's it's probably underrated. Because, like, I, I was just telling Alex the other day, the music, the music that we listen to, if you really can barely find the lyrics for them, that's yeah. the type, that's the music yeah. that I like. So like the way down wanderers underrated. Cole Davidson underrated, only because they're not, they're not you know popular. They're not, they're not stand out. They're not, they're not. Yeah. They don't got record labels and they're, shit. They're not being talked about. All that they're independent so. artists. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Not technically, yeah. Um, way down yeah, wonders is getting big though. Like they're they're yeah. getting yeah, they a are. lot bigger. Um, and I do want to like talk about that a little bit because it's so crazy. Um, I just talked about it yesterday, actually. Um, when we first went to see Way Down Wonder, just me and Alex, um, it was in this like little hole in the wall called Purple Fiddle with Thomas, West Virginia. Um, it's a, it's a White tiny place. Virginia. And uh, when we first got in there, everybody could sit down. Okay? It, it, like I said, this place is not big at all. But like, the second time we showed up, it was a little more packed. You know, there was, there yeah. was, there's people that had to stand up. It wasn't a lot. The third time we went, buddy, motherfucker, there's people outside the fucking building. Like, it, it's amazing that we can find these artists when they're not breaking out and you, you, you know, develop a relationship with them because, like, if me and Alex show back up at Purple Fiddle, they'll know who we are. Could we bend there every time? Well, not like every every time, but like you've we've been, been there, there enough. You've been there enough times that they'd be like, "Oh, there's those because those they sell their own merchandise." You know, and that that is one of the biggest things to me is if you sell your own merchandise. Yeah, because that great. gives you like a personal. That's like a personal level right there. You know, it's not long that you connect with the fans, but you're at least eye to eye with them. They're standing in front of you. You get to talk to them. And that's how I ended up getting, we ended up getting um, a vinyl record signed by them because I bought one off them and like he gave me a deal to buy uh, something else for it. And I just looked at it and was like, can you guys actually sign this? And they were like, of course, dude, we would love to. Like, <laughs> So like all the band was like everywhere else. But um, yeah, like that's the stuff that I like. So obviously most of my people, I'm going to say is underrated. Um, but I do have a couple people. Well, you was talking about Young Gravy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Ethan just got into Young Gravy, everybody. Give him a round of applause. Um, so uh, I, I don't want to say he's underrated or overrated. I think... Like he's got a, he's got some good songs. But he has some like eh. So I I kind of feel like he's right where he's supposed to be. And I, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I, I, I think, think it's kind of I think it's kind of cool that he does a lot of sampling in his music. Like you know, the the song I was singing before we started. Obviously, that's a sample of "Never Gonna Give You Up." That's kind of cool that he took that and made yeah. it his own version yeah. of it. I know people hate on that shit all day, but I'm I'm like, yeah, it's kind of cool if that's like if that's what you're basing it around, uh, whatever. But 
Yeah. Very, very, very catchy tunes. But like, That's I got the other thing. It makes it catchy. So he's a pretty yeah, cool yeah, it guy makes it... too. Yeah, well, it's down to earth. Like you said, it makes it catchy. So when you hear that, you're like, wait a minute. Yeah, you I've know, heard like, this yeah, before. Wait, I've heard this tune minute. before. Wait, yeah, wait. yeah. So, so you listen to it, and you're like, oh, okay. He, well, he and, <clears throat> and he's actually a good rap. Like he has good rhyme. <clears throat> he, he can rhyme pretty good, but well, he's been doing that <clears throat> breast cancer thing. He has the ladies take their bras off at, at his concert, you know, and they throw it on stage for him. And then uh-huh. he takes them and he he has this company that comes in or he takes them to him and he helps them sort them. And they figure out how much all these bras are worth. And he matches that in a donation and donates all the bras like well, to a, cool. a breast cancer that's, awareness. That's really that's really that's a really cool way to do it too. Yeah, yeah. Like, he makes it fun. Yeah, I say it's like you don't. You Fuck, don't I'd wear a bra. Yeah, I'd do it too. I just yeah, throw yeah. Bra and just throw it on stage. Like, here you go. I'd go out and get like a like a Victoria's <laughs> Secret bra. Yeah, <laughs> well, expensive and, shit. <laughs> and a lot of people. A Big goal. <laughs> A lot of people thought it was cool. He he went and he helped the company sort the bras out. Like he went himself to do the labor. Like, because yeah. you know he could have just donated them and been like, you know, have fun. But no, he's like, no, I want to come. I want to come help. So looking at my list of like songs, I definitely have a little bit of a list to go through. Most of them right now are rappers. But I'm just gonna go ahead. Like, there's some of them we didn't talk about. Like Michael Jackson, we didn't talk about him last year. Um, so maybe we talk about Michael Jackson, like, DJ yeah. Khaled, uh, Kanye West, Lil Baby, uh, right. 50 Cent we never talked about, or Elton John. No. Uh, Holy shit. Uh, Maroon 5, I and Tom McDonald. I kind of want to touch Tom McDonald a little bit. I don't know if you got, like, Ethan, I've, I've, I've had I've you listen to him a little bit. Yeah, so you've had me listen to him, I'm pretty sure. I've, uh, I've got one <laughs> suggestion. And Jack Harlow, that's another one. Oh, okay, Jack Harlow is a good one. I've got Dax, a suggestion that's a new as well. One too. But go ahead, go ahead, sorry. Oh, no, I was just saying, I have well, I actually have someone in mind to talk about. Well, speaking of, like, rappers that are, you know, down to earth and all that, I was just thinking about Post Malone, I mean, I think... Post yeah, Malone? Post Malone? Post Melon. Awesome. Post Melon is <laughs> awesome. I think he's not where he should be, but, but, I mean, I don't really like his, mu- like his new stuff, because it's all, like, Slow down and stuff. I like you know the fast, but his his older stuff I really like. And like I said, he's a he's, cool guy. Yeah, so he's a really great guy. And well, yeah, he's expecting a child. So, but but yeah, he's definitely down to earth. Um, oh yeah. On, honestly, I can't say that he's overrated. That's for a fact. That yeah. that's a hundred percent fact. <sighs> Back when he made Motley Crue, though, I think maybe that was a touch overrated because okay, the co- only only that. because the comments was you know oh my god he made Motley Crue famous like um hello like do you Motley fucking Crue know Motley became, Crue like yeah, okay, Motley Crue kind of became famous by themselves I mean like Motley yeah. Crue was famous way longer before <laughs> but that's only because of that the rest of but it that, I don't. And- that's not really his fault. That's the dumbass. Yeah, that's culture. Yeah, yeah that's our culture. Yeah, fucking stupid. I want to say stupid. Yeah, it's probably the same people would be like, oh, oh, Post Malone made Ozzy Osbourne famous. I'm like, ah, oh, dude, okay. he died. I've mean, been around longer than you've been alive. So or maybe maybe it was Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> that that well, man. Either has, way, I mean, that man outlived the Queen. Yeah, I mean, either and did way, more drugs than the Queen. Yeah, that's probably why he outlived the queen. Yeah, he somehow still can. <laughs> hey, how do you know the queen didn't do no drug? You know, you well, never that's know. fair. That's fair. Where's it all go? You know what I'm saying? We know how he did. I mean, listen to how he talked. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm gonna say it's pretty bad. That motherfucker wants me back to the UK. I mean, just saying, like yeah. when he t- when he that's says it. It, when he's saying America's getting a little too crazy. Look, listen, I'm, I'm with you, Ozzy, this baby. Let's go. That head off, <laughs> and he's like, "Oh, America's pretty crazy, man." It's like Ozzy, Ozzy, you know what you did, right? <laughs> he probably doesn't are you, even remember. Are you good? Are you good? Are you sick? You got the flu or something? Bro. Okay. All right, so uh, Alex, who do you, do you want to talk about? You said you had somebody. <laughs> 
You guys are gonna love this. Harry I thought Styles. about it the other day. Nope. Oh damn! I, thought, I really thought it was going to Harry Styles. Nope. <clears throat> Lil Nas X. <sighs> I thought that was a good. I, got, I actually got to think about. about that one for a little <laughs> bit. Because I, I, okay, straight off the bat, not overrated. I'm gonna, I'm gonna straight off the bat, not overrated. Not to me, not it's now. Not overrated. Yeah, not his, now. I... The, his like his two songs. You already know which ones they are. Yeah, they're they're a little overrated. Like I, I hate hearing them all the time. It's like okay, they're they're good. I get it. But, which like, they, which damn. the in, industry gone. baby is that the one you're thinking of? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, one, okay, and then yeah. there's the other one. I don't know the other one. I, I can't remember the other one off the top of my head, but it's. Is it the cowboy I, one or whatever? Like, I'm gonna... no. Oh wait, I guess that would be. Well, that's. You don't really hear much about that one anymore, but I still Fun... can go on the radio and hear that those two songs by him. Fun fact about that little country song or whatever the fuck it is he did okay. when um now I I am not homophobic, okay. I'm just gonna right now. I'm not. I'm a fucking hippie. Boy. I love you, homos. <laughs> okay, my cousin's a lesbian. I love you guys. If you ever need a safe place, 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 place right here is the place. All right, I'm just gonna say all that. All three of us. All three of us. We're all, but, we're all like that. But when that song first came out, and everyone was raving over it, I said, I don't like that song. Yep, but I didn't like it. Either. I just didn't like it. Like it, yeah, it's just not yeah. my taste. And I said, I feel like he's gay. And I said this right to Alex. I said, I feel like he's gay. And that's not the reason I don't like it. Because I like Industry Baby. Okay? I actually like that song. Do I think it's ever played? Yes. Okay? Bring on some more, more shit, please. I like yes. I liked what he's doing. I love what Little Noss is doing. I love that yeah. he's bringing shit out like that. Like, keep fucking doing it's it. It's a little like, different. Taking, yeah, he's taking... Really, like doing risky stuff. Like, for example, he's being open about it. Yeah. Like, he's being. Like, I love that man. Keep fucking yeah. doing what you're doing, little yeah, man. Like, I love yeah, that Satan shit. In a video, like, come on, that's. I mean, that's pretty ballsy. He's been Satan a lap dance in a hey, video. Like, a lap dance, like, like God, that's, I love it. All right, but yeah. I just, I just straight up said that that guy was gay, and at the end of it was a Pride Month when that shit came out too. Yeah, because he was smart, bro. Yep. Like, it was smart. I was smart. And then at the end of the month, he comes smart. out as gay, and everyone's like, "I hate that song. I hate that song." I was like, "Hey." Yeah. Y'all just bandwagon off me. I hated it to begin with. Like it made I don't want to make me look bad because I didn't like I just I just don't like that song. What's in I, your cup of tea? Yeah. Like even uh, if that song was just straight country, I don't fucking like it. Like yeah. I just I don't know. There was something about that song. But when Lil Not uh the industry baby came out, I'm like, dude, I fucking dig that shit. That shit was bad. Yeah, Chris Chris did like yeah, it was catchy as shit. Well, just when you said it was like it was overplayed, I'm I'm thinking it's literally my my, my playlist, bro. Like, come on, like, like, it is a, okay, it was everywhere. It was it's, everywhere. Hey, listen, it's on mine too. So I mean, I, <laughs> okay, I mean, okay, uh, yeah, yeah. But <coughs> it's like every once in a while because I don't really listen to the radio. I'll be like, yeah, I, I can stand it this time. But that was a good one, Alex. Um, was, like I, like I said, that I don't one, I don't believe he's overrated. And I don't want to say he's underrated. Yeah. If anything, he's he's more on the overrated side than, you know. It, he's tipping yeah. the scale a little bit on that side, but it's not like... Okay. And I don't know if it's just his music, though. I, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't want to say it's just his music that makes him closer to overrated than any... Like, so if I'm go, just going off his music, I would say he's pretty even he's I, I my personal opinion he's even but like overall yeah he's because of what he's doing like i don't know that's just yeah. my opinion i don't know how to word that well he's doing he what well, he was he now he hasn't been in the news for a while but he was doing stuff to keep his name and it was goofy stuff that was getting people mad and i'm like this is what we're gonna get mad about yeah can't give Satan a lap dance. It's a fucking bro. Like, it, it's it a fucking a music video. Uh, okay, yeah. I'm just saying, you people are gonna get mad over that, and I'm gonna I'm about to name somebody that oh they should be mad at, and that would be Cardi B. Oh. I'm just saying, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I 
I agree. I mean, Cardi B is my guilty pleasure, so I can't say anything. Well, I'm just saying, WAP. Like, come on, bro. Cardi B yeah, overrated. Like, I'm a straight up saying. I don't even. I, there's there no was, even. There's not even a doubt in my mind that motherfucker's overrated. Hey, hey, you know, I'll I'll give it to her a little bit. She is kind of funny. She is. She has some funny. She is moments, funny. She but, is funny. And she did step up and defend. I think it was her mother or a paparazzi attack one time. I I will respect that, but I still yep. say she's overrated. Yeah, with she's music. definitely overrated. Like no doubt about it. But she's my guilty pleasure. She has her moments. I like Nicki Minaj more. I, don't like I actually, I don't like <laughs> Nicki Minaj, but I do like her more than Cardi B. Yeah, I do. and that's yeah, only because yeah. Nicki Minaj. And again, I this is not a shot at anybody, but I just like intelligence. Cardi B, I don't think she graduated high school. I believe she did not graduate high school, but the way she talks sometimes, it, it, it just it, it gives me a stroke. Like brain melting. Uh, but Nicki Minaj is fucking. She's smart. She's witty. She comes back with quick, you know. She Good is shit. funny. Like, she is funny. And w witty, yeah. Witty's a great way. All right, Ethan, you got anybody? Uh, hold on, I'm looking. Uh, oh. All right, what about The weekend? Uh, he mm. I kind of feel the same with Lil Nas X here. Except he's not doing. I'm gonna have I to think... actually go neutral again. Yeah, I I think Super Bowl. Okay, because he did the halftime show. Might have been a little overrated for that. That I mean, I enjoyed that halftime show. It sucked. But I, but but I don't I don't think he was the right choice for a halftime show. You know what it I mean? Sucks. Like if that had if that had just been like a. A cool little thing in the middle of another football game, or a you know another sports thing. I think it would have been all right, but not okay. A, a to Super be fair, Bowl if it's in a, if it's in another sports game, you're not going to hear about it. I'm sorry. Well, you're Super right. Bowl halftime right. is is it's more I just known don't, than anything. I else. don't feel like he was a great choice for a halftime show because it sucked. But yeah. it sucked. Oh, but I I'll, I'll give him fucking credit. He spent his own money to help that. He did. He did. He really did. I, I will 100% because wasn't that during the COVID uh, bullshit? Yes. Yeah. And he. So I, I will 100% yep. give him the benefit of the doubt on that. He he spent most of his own money to set that to up. Pay so for, props, to pay for things and yeah. Props to him for that. That but still was, didn't make it good though. <laughs> yeah, that didn't make it good. Um, the choreography, the dancing and shit, that was all fucking fantastic. But I just, I don't get I, down with it, the weekend. It just, it fell short. I like his music. I do like his music. I can Great. listen to his stuff, stuff on, I can listen to his hey, stuff mama. on Shuffle. I can listen to his stuff on Shuffle and not know 95% of those songs. And I'll come out being like, well, what song was that? Because that was really good. Like, No, I'm sorry. <laughs> He he's got okay. He's got a beautiful voice. I'll say he's got a beautiful voice. He does have but a... I just I don't like it. Like I don't like his songs. There's some of his songs I can get That's down fair. with. But my weekend like, is not. It's that like weekend. me with it's like me with the Beatles. I don't I don't really <laughs> like them, but I give them the respect they deserve at least. So. Mama's online. Be that. So let's go old school a little bit now, since Mama's in the oh chat. Oh boy! Oh boy! Michael Jackson. I don't think that man will ever be overrated. I'm sorry. He did let's, so much. Well, let's let's go from from then to now. So let's go back then. Let's let's when he came out first, like his prime solo, like. Thriller era. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Overrated, underrated back then. Nope. Uh, I'd say, I'd say he was either right where he should have been, or I'm even gonna say maybe a little underrated. I, I, I love Michael Thriller, Jackson. I love his Thriller, songs. Thriller changed. He it did a whole lot of shit for music. So he really did. He set the fucking tone. He did. He I, did. I'm honestly going to say that 
he's definitely not overrated back in his prime because I feel like, you know, some people are just born to be geniuses, right? Yeah, and he was one of them. And he was born to be a musical genius, and I feel like he was just a star that needed to be out there, and he was. I mean, I feel like back in his prime, I feel like the only reason I'm going to say underrated is because of the whole drama with him. Yeah. You know, um, obviously rising to fame is not something not. that everyone can handle. And back then, it was definitely harder. Well, like, and his his dad uh, was a piece of shit to him. So, yeah. like, you have that, you know, yeah. on him too. Yeah. That... And then you gotta also think of the time period. Yeah, the yeah. time period. Is like... Time period, that could definitely affect it. I mean... Well, because technically, he didn't... I mean, did he have an actual disease that made his skin... He had uh, uh, vitiligo. Yeah, so it's like, back in the day, like, they didn't know what that was. They just thought he was bleaching himself. So they see this happening. It's like, what the fuck are you doing to yourself? So the rumors start, that just kills your your career. It does. And he was very graceful about it, I think. Oh, yeah, he he never, I don't, oh, now, of course, a lot of the, I was either not born or I was way too young to, to know, but I don't ever remember seeing anything about him you know, being pissed off at people that they were saying those things about him. Like, he seemed like he handled it. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. That's what, I mean, he 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 just just wiped it off. Shrugged it off. Yeah, Yeah. he shrugged it off, and he was just like, and and if there was, like, a misunderstanding, he would explain it. These people can think whatever they want of me, basically. Yeah. He was soft-spoken, more or less. He he was very soft-spoken. Because we all know, like, one of the number one things that happened to him is everyone was like, oh, he... He's a he's a predator. He he's a touches predator. little children, and it's like he literally said that. No, he's just he just really likes kids. Like well, there's, there's, his, a there's a difference. He had his childhood ripped away from him. Yeah, and it's like you know he's just kind of trying to fill the void for other kids that didn't that don't have that. Exactly. Either, so exactly. So, so and, and like the way the way it's worded, it, it I mean, yeah, I could see where it could be taken wrong. Like some of the stuff he said could have been taken wrong, which it obviously was. But yeah, clearly, you gotta really, I mean, clearly. You gotta, but then again, you got unintelligent people who always come up with that kind of bullshit. So or, or <laughs> hatred, you know. I mean, yeah. Again, back then, social media wasn't a it's obviously as huge as now. So like, you know, it gets published in a newspaper, everyone believed it. Yeah, and, you and know, then. It's, it's, well, yeah, because remember... newspapers were a reliable source of information. <laughs> or, Real- they they were supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, but 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 we saw how that went in Vietnam, and the government took our mail and <laughs> you know black blacklisted it. <laughs> Bro, we get back into Nam now. <laughs> Nam in the trees. <laughs> but yeah, I think back then in his prime, he'd been. I don't want. It's just hard to say. Over or underrated, I think he. It's just he, he would be. Off he, and... Yeah, he would lean more to the underrated side, but again, with all the drama, that's why. Um, nowadays, it's definitely neutral for me. Nowadays, yeah, I mean, you don't really hear much, you know, that it, no one really talks about him. So, well, let's, still, I'm gonna look it up real quick. Great. Yeah, let me look something up real quick. Yeah, I remember that that interview when that reporter was just going after him about you know him supposedly touching little kids but he was like no no that's that's just not right i can think of his fucking south park (laughs) oh my god that's just not right that's just his last album was released in 2001 and it's 2022 and we're still talking about him I'm just yep. saying. I mean, yep. I'm just saying. Legacy. Like, who was that uh, singer that just died this year? It was really old. Dolly Parton's friend. Um, uh, fuck. Mom, you're here. Who was it? Who was it? You're in the chat. <laughs> it's like people like that that we're still talking about. That's so old. Like, I don't know, man. I just feel like a lot of the the older music is 100% underrated because that was pure talent back then. 
Like that's yeah, straight it's, up it's, pure fucking talent. It's impressive what he what he could do. Like I mean, how many artists can sing that like that? I mean, <laughs> like come on, bro. He you can't just do that notes. shit on the fly. Yeah, he had high notes and well, he could dance too. I mean, he got moved. Hey, yeah, he could. He was a he was a triple threat. He could act too. I mean, oh Jesus he was Christ, in, mom. He was in movies. She had to correct my spelling again because my keyboard is too small for my fat thumbs, okay? Relax! Yeah, oh yeah, blame it on the fat thumbs. I put Kuzik instead of music on my post. Loretta Lynn! I knew it was someone famous. That's right, like, that's huge. Right. I, like, I, I actually there, have I Coal Miner's Daughter on my playlist, speaking of that. And I'm pretty sure she's the one who sings that, right? I hope I'm... Yeah. I could be completely wrong about that, but I'm just... Like... Underrated. Loretta Lynn, nowadays, underrated. Back then, perfect. Because she's talented. Fucking talented. Because you don't have auto-tune back in the fucking day, you know? Like, Lil Wayne was the number one person who started using auto-tune. He's got a voice. He really does. But he decides to use auto-tune and it yeah, changes the whole mood. Well, and let's be real, like, T-Pain and, and Lil Wayne, like, they, okay, yeah, they used auto-tune, but they made it their thing. But like, see, that's what I'm saying, like, like Lil Wayne was, like, the biggest thing. one that came out with it. Like, he was the one, like, I don't want to say introduced it, but, like, he's the one that's like, okay, that is fucking at the auto-tune. Bar. Like, he, yeah. he was like, oh, here's a different style of music that you can try, but the problem is, is people have taken that and they've... They, yeah, they've, I, I know. Let me find that one song that he sung. I'm trying to think. I don't think I have someone for my next one. <laughs> Little Nas X was the only person I could think of. Yeah, I'm going. I'm just going through my uh, Spotify right now. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's a, that would be. Good. <laughs> I guess I could do that. Thanks, well, mom. Joining the conversation. You got anyone we you want to talk about besides Elvis? Because I know you're if you're mentioning anyone, it's probably gonna be Elvis. I'm gonna just straight up say neutral on that one. Neutral, yeah. I mean, king of king of rock and roll. He's not rock. overrated. He's not yep. underrated. King of rock and roll, and there's a reason for it. And like, we're still talking about him. We're still talking about him. He's been oh, dead for how many years? I might have. I might have a good one if. I, I don't think we talked about him last time. Who? Macklemore. Underrated. Underrated. I agree. Uh, underrated, underrated for sure. Underrated. Back then. Yeah. Back then, one hundred percent underrated. He came out with that one good song. No one listened to the rest of like no no one listened to the rest of his songs. The rest of those underrated. Songs, rest of those songs were his new shit is so too. his mm-hmm. his new shit. Uh, his new shit's still good. His I, new shit is good. He's he's just by himself now, isn't he? He is. He doesn't have Ryan Lewis anymore. Okay, that's, that's what I thought. But his new stuff, like, he's got a real catchy, like, fun dance number that he released this year that I really like. But then his other two songs that he released were actually about drug addiction, about his drug addiction. Yes, I know he had drug addiction problems, so... Which is why he didn't release something for so long. And oh there's so there's there's such good songs. I remember when Downtown came out, I listened to that. I'm like, what in the hell? Oh this my is god, like Downtown awesome. <laughs> is one of my favorite songs for Wait, him. what was it? Down, uh, downtown. Oh, remember yeah, that? yeah. yeah that's that I thought I thought that's what I heard. Down. That's why. And it was so weird. Like, <coughs> you're talking about a okay. moped? Like, that's <laughs> fucking Ethan, awesome. You took a moped and you made a song about it. Ethan, you need to, l- to look up. You have to watch a music video, though, because Idris Elba's in it. Um... I think it's called Dance Off. Hold on, let me let me go check. Pretty sure it's called Dance Off. Oh yeah, I got it. Yes, Dance Off. It it has Idris Elba in it. And it's another one of those stupid fucking Macklemore songs that I'm like, what the hell am I listening to? Uh, hey, Macklemore was a good one. That is like a good I said, one. I, I, we didn't talk about him last time. I and and not did. not to mention not to mention he's also one of them very good artists who gives to his community. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he he loves the fan. He, like he loves the fans. So, and he's another yeah, down to earth guy. And so. He's funny. He's he he's funny. He his style is is I love his style. Oh, yeah, 
Speaking well, I... of speaking of Malcolm, Moore, I got I got a good one to talk about. Oh boy! And and I mean, the other thing about his style, obviously, like thrift shop, that tells you everything you need to know about his style. Like, uh, who gives well, a shit what you wear? And, like, and yeah, and thrift shop. Thrift shop was one of those digs that all the other rappers that are buying like and again and it was not like, overrated like, i could go buy that same jacket for ten dollars down the road what the fuck yeah. are you talking about why did you why did you spend eighty dollars on a stupid fucking white t-shirt i could go to the thrift store and get it for a buck but the only one that, the only one that would not take effect to that would be eminem because he's the same way he has no idea yep. how much money he actually makes yeah, he's just like oh okay. well that reminds me of fucking uh little dicky that's it. That's the rapper I was gonna bring up. Oh my god, that's funny. So underrated. before, before, underrated. yeah, underrated, hundred percent underrated. Oh, yeah. Before we, before we start talking about little Diggy though. So the story with Eminem was he went to, um, he went to buy a Rolex. He never had a Rolex, never. <laughs> so he takes his his guy with him, his like his manager or whatever his, or whatever. his yeah. and he asked the guy like, you know, hey, this is you know a Rolex. Eminem liked he he looked right at his finance manager and asked him if he could buy this Rolex or he just like can I buy Rolex and his finance manager looked at him and this was in the interview he said do you want to buy the watch or the well, company, the company. <laughs> and Eminem just kind of looked at him and like uh, just the watch he's like can okay. I buy the company he's like, I just wanted to make sure <laughs> because the finance manager looked at the interviewer and said he could literally he makes more than Rolex like. Yeah. That's fucking funny. He said, I was confused with how he worded that to me. <laughs> but, like, this man doesn't spend money. Like, yeah. he has no idea how much money he even has. Yeah, yeah. And I, I like that about him because it, it kind of humbles you because you, you, you're, you like, you're not cocky about, oh, I have all this money. It's just I like, mean, he was a little bit there in some of his songs. Wow. Cause yeah. if you If you listen to something, like, he... He speaks through his music. Like, if he wants yeah. to apologize to you, that's how he's going to do it. He's going to do it through his music. He ain't going to come. I mean, he'll yeah. probably come right out and apologize, but he's also going to make a song about it. Like, yeah. he's obviously did multiple times to people. Um, but, like, you know, take money out and burn it. Like, he knows how much money he makes. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when he sees him say yeah, he does now. <laughs> he does now. He knows how much he makes now. But the, during that time period, yeah, definitely uh... – all right, Alex, like, oh. take it away for a second. I got to piss. Talk about Lil Dicky. Oh, my Lord, I love Lil Dicky. All I know is that he is underrated, and he quit his... Uh, Account accounting uh, job. Six-figure accounting job. Let's, to be let's a get rapper. that right. A little Jewish rapper. I yep. freaking love him. And he produced one of the best songs. Okay. Which one? Uh... Earth. Yes, Freaky Friday is my favorite. I have a little dicky. Oh my I, god, I don't, I've never really, I've never really listened to him, but I, I really want, like, I've been always like, yeah, I need to listen to him, but you know, obviously Earth, I love that song. And yeah, I, Earth is I, a good song. Obviously, it has a strong message. That's why I like it so much. But, and I love that he got all those singers. All to the get celebrities, yo. Yeah. I love that Justin Bieber was the fucking monkey. <laughs> I know. He might be an okay person to talk about, too. Yeah. Because I'm going to be honest with you. I don't have anything really that bad to say about Justin Bieber he, anymore. He was a dick when he was younger, but I think he's kind of... He's gotten a little better, so... He's... Uh, yeah, I think... I don't know. He's just... I have nothing bad to say about him. Like... He's definitely overrated when he was younger. That's for damn sure. Wow, well, yeah. But, but, Tokes. now he Tokes actually... Have he's grown up a lot. Yeah, Tokes, I agree. Wait, what happened? We uh, got to talk about Justin Bieber. Yeah, we, we were talking about, uh... We were talking about Earth, and I was like, it's funny that he got Justin Bieber to be in that. And then, yeah, we started we talking just about kinda... Justin Bieber. <laughs> Look, okay. If we're going to talk about Justin Bieber, I'll talk about Justin Bieber just for a little bit. I know we're kind of getting off track with this whole, whole underrated. No. But we could continue this next week as well. Um, I just want to point something out for YouTube purposes and Twitch. We can react to videos, but I have to stop it within like, 10 seconds. Yeah, you, like, and, you, and you have to put in the title that it's a reaction video. So, I, I mean, if that. you guys actually want to listen to some of the music that we're talking about, just let us know. 
Um, like I said, t- Ethan's re- that reaction was genuine, bro. Yeah, that was, like I saw, that I saw your mouth. Oh, you were like, oh. <laughs> that that song blew me away. Like her voice. Okay, but <clears throat> I will say Justin Bieber grew up a lot. He did grow up a lot, yes. and I and I like Justin Bieber. Like I, I told Alex before you came back, like he used to be a dick, a dick. To throwing fans, eggs, but, like throwing yep. eggs and shit to cars. Throwing eggs, spitting on but, his hands, but, but now he's kind of, I think he's mellowed out. So I also, like, <sighs> there was this thing that came out about childhood stars and how it ruined people. Yeah, like, he... How he, like, people were forcing kids to do things they don't want yeah he was talking about that and honestly yeah. i believe well, shit like that because well, like I, you look at justin bieber now yes he matured a lot maybe he learned yeah. from his mistakes but still like i just feel like some of his shit he was just lashing out a little bit yeah, yeah i think he was too i agree i mean how are we how is everyone supposed to know he's gonna get famous from a youtube video like that's just you know and then now he's like he goes from doing one YouTube video, and now he has to be uh, a star going out on stage, singing for everyone. It, it was and, crazy, yeah. though. The first... Um, this was like an old React video, honestly. Um, Adam Adam came over to my house. We got on the computer. He says, look away. I'm going to look somebody up for you. He types in Justin Bieber. I had no idea. Okay? And he... It was Baby... Ba- oh, Baby, or whatever the fuck that song is he has. Yeah, Baby. And I'm, lo- I'm not looking, right? And he says, does this sound like a guy or a girl to you? I said, that's, that's 100% a girl. 100%. He said, no doubt. He said, look, look at the screen. I turn around, it's fucking Justin Bieber. I'm like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Not really, but like. <laughs> that, that reminds me, uh, you should look up, um, you, obviously, you know who Slipknot is. Um, Psychosocial Baby. Um, oh, my God, yes. Someone that took is the funniest Chris, fucking thing ever. Chris, someone took baby and they synced it up with a slipknot song uh psychosocial and it, it and it, it is matches, the, oh no it's like it, 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 it's 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 it, crazy that it's yeah you're gonna look it up i already know yeah it's crazy how good it sounds because it matches it, it perfectly is. like the beat is perfect <laughs> i i'm gonna have to look it up because i think it's well, while we're on the topic, uh, I, I got one more I'd like to mention. Um, one of my my favorite '90s uh, grunge band, uh, Alice in Chains. Alice in oh, Chains. Underrated, underrated. I'm a, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to go underrated okay. because don't hate me for this, but honestly, right now I could not name you one song from Alice in Chains. You play a song. You play a song. I'll probably know it, but I could not name any song of theirs. I'll, I couldn't. I'll say back in the time, like obviously when they started, definitely neutral. Okay. Um, their their music is is amazing. Like Lane Stanley's voice was, I mean, phenomenal. Toxic saying slept on. Here's yeah. my logic when they're. When they are the pioneers of grunge and Nirvana's the band that gets blamed for that, yeah, they're underrated. Uh, yeah, because right. uh, Alice in Chains was the first band to they hit were the, gold. Yes, they, they were hit the first. on their first album, and it's like Nirvana didn't do that with their first album. Their first Man, album was a garage band, and I will say the first Nirvana album is the mo- one of the most underrated albums you'll ever listen to because it is so good. Oh, my God, Chris is watching the video. It's so <laughs> Funny, Tokes. Man in the Box is a, is one of yes is one of the most slept on songs. Man oh, in the Box bro. is so good. Bro, I get the chills when I hear him sing. Uh, I can't think of it right now because I love all the songs from their Facelift album, which is what Man in the Box is from. Okay, I don't know. We talked about Slipknot last time, but honestly, with no music behind his voice. That man can sing. Like oh, I, knew, yeah. I already knew. I already knew he could sing. sing. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I already knew he could sing. But like, when you hear this, like it can really, really hear. it really stands out, bro. Yeah, that's why he. That's why he's one of my favorites too, because he can really sing. But, um, yeah, Alice in Chains back in the day, uh, definitely. <laughs> you know, honestly, I'd have to say, I have to say, underrated. Now that you mentioned that, like, yeah, 
Yeah, no one really talks about them, even when, though, like, even though they're, they're great and everyone knows them, they they still get slept on for being the pioneers of grunge music. When Nirvana's getting the credit for what <laughs> Alice in Chains did, Alice in Chains is underrated. No and, fucking way, this man. <laughs> Isn't that? It, it's fantastic, is it not? There's no yeah. way this matches. Yes. And uh, and regarding that too, after Lane dies, you know they they go and get their new singer. I I don't know his name. Like I hate to say that, but it I don't know his name. I can't. But I can't. but their new singer, he's not as good as Lane. But goddamn, he's still he good. can sing. He yeah. can sing. And I I don't really listen to their newer stuff, but. I have before. I'm like, sometimes I can't tell it's a different singer. Cause yeah, I know. They like they did Lane. very well. And, they did very well. And I have to admit, a lot of their new stuff, it's it's definitely underrated. Like, they are definitely an underrated band now. Like, they still put out good music. Yeah. But... Speaking of underrated bands that we actually seen, I just, I just happened to think of this. Um, Ghost. Oh, yeah. Ghost. Oh, my Ghost God. Ghost is so... Tokes, I don't know if you've heard Ghost before, but Toke, or, yeah, Ghost is, it's kind of rhyme there. Uh, Ghost is so underrated. Um, Tokes, if you have, before I go any further, if you have a band you want to talk about, bring them in. Like, bring them in. We'll talk about them if we know them. Regarding Ghost, I, I'm on Loudwire, which is like a, it's like a rock and metal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. People hate and hate and hate on Ghost. I'm like, they why? do, they Their do hate. Is, and and uh, Hailstorm, it's rock. It's yeah, it. They have. So what? Ghost is like a. It's like a mellow metal music. Like who gives a shit? Like yeah, you hate it. Don't listen to it. Don't. Don't hate them because you want to hate them. Hate them because you just don't like their music. Don't hate them. Like like Nickelback. Like I know you don't yeah. like Nickelback. We talked yeah, about I mean, it in, I don't a, like in the one podcast before. But like I people hate them just Nickelback. to hate them. Like yeah, people hate, hate their them, music. I, don't hate them because I someone else does. Just, but I just literally don't just don't like Nickelback's music. Like yeah, and that's that's perfect. reasonable. Not I mean, your style of rock. Yeah, it's like the Beatles. Like I just don't like the music. Like but I. I I you like don't them, necessarily I don't mind, like yeah. <laughs> if a song comes on, I'm not going to be like, ah, turn this shit off, it's terrible. Because I've heard gonna be like, oh. music while I'm at his house before. I don't give a shit. I was like, okay. Good band. Like, <laughs> yeah. Um, I can see where people like them. There's another one that, hold on, I gotta snooze that shit. That's Max's medicine. <laughs> uh oh. Um, oh, fuck. Who was I going to say? Uh, so hailstorm, hailstorm I think is super underrated. Uh, granted, I don't, I couldn't name a a, to, uh, a song off the top of my head. I get I, off. I can't really remember their music either, but I get off in a again, misery. That's just, that's just another misery. band. Yeah, misery is that's damn good. Band I'm not a, I'm not into, so I, I can't really have like a. But like, I, I, yeah, I definitely think they're underrated. I mean. They, they were great They have live. good songs. Yeah, they, they were. were and, and the the singer is so fucking thoughtful. Like, oh yeah, we watched her give that fucking guitar away yeah. to a seven year old. And you like, know that guitar wasn't cheap. Uh, no, especially after she signed it. Like, bro. Yeah, uh, yeah <laughs> no way that's cheap anymore. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, like to to be able to just I don't know to care about your fans that much. This little seven year old is gonna remember that for the rest. Who knows? She might become like, a the next yeah, fucking rock star, like, like yeah, I was gonna say, she'll be like uh, that. That shit happens, least you're, like least it just takes for. it just takes that one time. Yep. I do want to touch on Tom McDonald though, like, um, Ethan, I don't know if you want to like listen to one of his songs real quick or like hear some of his songs. He's a very political singer, and I I showed you him before because yeah, of this. you have. I, I I don't remember him though, but I know. I you know. <laughs> I know Alex is, uh, yeah, she kind of teeters on oh, him. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Yep, yeah, I, I kind of teeter on Cause him. You, cause you, you mentioned it whenever. It, it's funny because, like, in, in one part of his song, Alex will sit there and agree. And, and in the next, I'm like, he just totally destroyed what I disagreed with. <laughs> and, it's, and I love it because it's, I agree with most of it. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, I don't know. That's just, I feel like he's, 
He's kind of rising you know, up there, so I don't want to say I, he's he's overrated. He's definitely not overrated. Nope. He's really not. But in my opinion, I would I would lean towards more underrated than anything. Well, and just because I don't agree with his music, I'm still gonna say he uh, underrated. I still do think. Well, because I may not agree with what he says, and you know, seventy five percent of his song, but. As an artist, he's definitely underrated. I I want to say yes and no because his his I don't know if they're gonna classify that as a new genre or not, but like political rap just doesn't hit. Political right. rap? No, it doesn't. And it, and because people I, don't want to hear it, that's the problem. Well, no, and and that might be part of my thing is like I don't really want to hear politics. But, but I respect it. Like Okay, but, like, he makes a point. Like, that's why I like him so much. Like, yeah, like, he has good points in his, his music. Tokes is like, saying I mean, Aerosmith is underrated. I could kind of get behind that. I could get behind that. Or right right where they <laughs> should be. Ethan's I down there. Be... <laughs> Ethan's uh... like, uh... I'm not gonna say anything about right. bias. I, I don't like Aerosmith. I, I already oh, knew because I think I think we talked about um, Aerosmith. We have. The, ta- I think we yeah. talked about him the one that I was because I like about. Aerosmith. So let's let's be real here. Let's let's go back in time again. When Aerosmith first came out, I'm gonna say when Aerosmith first came out, I might be a little biased on this. I'm gonna be honest, but I don't think they were overrated when they came out because. Well, I can, I mean, I can- I think they went through a period where they might have been overrated. But then that damn song I mean, Dream On came out. Oh like, my oh, god. I think that's when you god. could argue. I get, it. I get it. He can hit high notes. God damn. So can I ask you though, is this just that song overrated? I could get behind that. Because that... have you ever heard the song Sweet Emotion? Oh, I've heard the song Toys in the Attic. I love that song. Like I love the song Sweet Sweet Emotion. That is a good song. I think but I've I, heard that song. But I, I feel remember. like Dream On is so played because of his voice. But like, yeah. you gotta think again. No auto tune. That man is hitting a I fucking. Uh, that I, man wait, is I'm hitting a it. fucking note. I, hey, his mouth is big. Let's yeah, he does have and a and big fucking mouth. I'm not discrediting the fact that he can hit that note. That's fucking impressive. I couldn't do that shit. But, but like overplayed. Yes. Yes. Hmm. But like too overrated. But sweet emotion, like I, I just ah uh, man, I that think is I have heard that song sweet before. emotion. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yep, I have. Like that is yeah, that, that, that is a beautiful already. song. That's a fun song, though. Yeah. Toy, Toys in the Attic is a good one too. I really like that one. Um, but, obviously, I don't want to miss a thing. It's pretty big too, because I mean, I I. I, I... <sighs> I feel like that song's big because of the movie, though. Because of Armageddon. Because of Armageddon. So it's like, we got we to weigh our factors there. I know we didn't really talk about that the last time, I don't think. But, like, I just watched um, Armageddon again this year, and I remember that song was in there because of the movie. I haven't listened to Aerosmith ever since. So like overplayed but rarely talked about. Tokes, I agree. It is one of those overplayed songs, but you don't talk about it, like because everyone knows it. So and everyone yeah, knows so... why it's why it's played. So there's no need to talk about it. And I can't say they're underrated now because it's just I don't want to say it, will... it's out of date. But it's like people just don't go back to listen to actual good music. Like Aerosmith was good music. Like I'm just straight up. Like back in the day, that was that was the style of music. Nowadays, it it's fucking style. whatever the fuck we got. Harry Styles or some shit. I don't fucking that's know. A, you know, like I'm man. I'm over here listening to soul music and indie pop. Like, bro, that's completely uh, different than what yeah, everyone else yeah. is. I'm. Oh, I just thought of a good one. <sighs> Go for uh, it. I mean, Ronnie James Dio. Dio. Is that just Dio? Dio, yeah, just Dio, but that's his name, Ronnie James Dio. I think he was kind of underrated. He, oh man, like the fact that you can take a diff, a completely different style of singer, and put him into a band called Black Sabbath, you know, yeah, a metal band yeah, yeah, that was voiced by Ozzy, and then put 
Dio in there, and it still sounds fucking awesome. Yeah, I That's agree. Pretty damn impressive. Yeah. Speaking actually, of that, now now that Ethan's brought Dio up, now I've got another another. Dio, same. Yeah, I got no, I got one more that I can say about kind of in the same era. But go ahead, Alex. <laughs> Ethan's gonna die. Tenacious D. <laughs> Underrated. Underrated. I love, yeah, I love Speak, I ain't gonna have a, I ain't gonna have an opinion on this. But speaking of Tenacious D, um, I think Jack oh. this year just went to his concert. Yes, Jack did go to a Tenacious D concert. And oh I was, yeah, you did. That's and cool. I was pissed. Go I'm Jack! Pissed Let's fucking go, Jack. <laughs> I fucking love Tenacious Jack D. Jack Black is one of the best people you'll ever meet. He really is. I love him. Yeah, I I can't. I'm not gonna say an opinion because I I personally like Jack Black too. So like, yeah, my opinion yeah, is clearly gonna be biased. I, I think kind of underrated because no one really talks about Tenacious D. You're but... right though. You are right. Underrated 100%. Doke said. So yep. I might have somebody that you've never listened to for once. Yeah. See, Ugly Kid Joe. Oh my god, I forgot you were gonna bring Ugly him up. Kid Joe, that sounds familiar, but... bro. So, obviously, I don't know if you know the song Cats in the Cradle. Yep, I know. Okay, yep, that's... He, he's not the original singer, though. Okay, he's the... When he, he did, he, when he does a cover of it, I it's a rock version, and he absolutely fucking kills it. I think he's one of the best... That's one of the best versions there is. Um, but yes, I'm going to say 100%. I'm getting cold chills, bro. These are, like, massive cold chills. Um... Ugly Kid Joe is 100% slept on, just like Toke said. Um, his song, Cats in the Cradle, is fucking incredible. Um, I hate everything about you. I think you would like that song. I don't know what kind of rock you're actually into. It's more rock, but like I'm that song honest, is I, slept on. I don't really like listening to rock, but but I mean, I listen to it. But I guarantee I'm you, like though, I guarantee guy, you, so. though, when you hear it, well, see... I don't want to say he's metal, but you can hear his voice. He could have become such a great metal singer, but that yeah. was just not his era. Like, that's what made yeah. me love Ugly Kid Joe. My dad, it was a cassette tape, bro. It was, uh, what the fuck was that album? It had America on it. Um, he makes fun of America in that album. Oh, I, I literally just looked him up. I, I saw the album that you're talking about. But... Yeah, and um, he played that song, like them songs for me. And it was, uh, I hate everything about you. And I'm going to tell you, like, his voice in that song, you, I guarantee you're going to think of like, at least somebody that you don't like when you listen to that song. I promise you. Probably your ex-girlfriend. I'm just going to say. <laughs> because wow. I hate everything about you. Like, I mean, you can just hear it in his voice. He, can, he clearly could have become a metal singer, but it just was not. That's not the era, you know? And actually, that should be a, a podcast in itself. Is who, what singers become someone else if they were in a different era? Yep, because I, I can think of one right off the top of my head. And that's neighbor Miley is Cyrus. as well, Molly Cyrus, bro. Uh, Miley Cyrus, just, bro, it's so weird. We just talked about her today. I'm gonna say she looks hot now. Like I literally made fun of her beginning of the year. Okay, okay, this is I know it's going on YouTube. Sorry, Miley Cyrus. <coughs> if you ever get to fucking see this, I'm just gonna say like. I made fun of her beginning of the year, and uh, she just had an Instagram post, and she got, like, long blonde hair. I'm not into blondes, but I was like, Alex says she looks a little older, which is good. I mean. You know, she looks, she looks like her mother. Looks, like, she looks mature. Like. Yeah. Yes. She ain't coming she, in like a wrecking ball anymore. She has matured, so. And she was in the same arrows with uh, Justin Bieber, so who knows yep. what happened? Yeah, if she with with, been with what what all that issue was going on. With her on. voice, with her voice and the like, <laughs> Live my ass she, off she would have been it. born earlier. She she could have been easily a rock a rock or metal performer. So oh she yeah, she and I, she, I mean those covers that she well did she still rock, could honestly though. Yeah, I mean, she and she kind of she still got a hell of a voice. Song, so look, my opinion on Miley, she. Every cover she touches is gold. I, I don't understand what I, she, what witchcraft she does on these covers. Uh -uh, but they're no, always, stop they're it. always good. Stop it. Look, 
it's not because of just her. Look at who her fucking dad is. Wow, well, yeah, that's... And if we're going to get on the Miley Cyrus topic, Billy Ray, he might not be all the there. The... Oh, sorry. <laughs> but he is underrated. Nowadays. Yeah. Like, um, he's got some good shit out there. And, and I'll mention about I'll mention about Miley. Uh, the song Zombie, the cover of that. I don't like that song, but I love her version of it. Well, she, I don't I don't like the cranberries. I don't like the, the lead singer's voice. I don't like it. I'm like, eh, That's no. fair, that's fair. But, but Miley Cyrus's version, I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> well, like okay. Better. Do you like the Bad Wolves version of it? I, I I like Bad Wolves version. Uh, I don't really listen to Bad Wolves. I mean, I've heard oh, that well, cover. Okay. You I'm, de- I'm I know for a fact you heard that cover live. Oh well, yeah, yeah, because we were we were there. We were there when that happened. Yeah. Like we were going and to find some fucking beer, baby. Oh. I don't know. I I, just, I don't like their version of it either. Okay. But, I just but, didn't know if. But I don't really listen to Bad Wolves. But so. um. I guess that's another good concept we should start bringing up is covers, because yeah, like I think it's a good one on because like it, we take the original singer right the original song and then we compare it to who sung it the best. You can you can honestly showcase who's a great singer out of that because like yeah, you just you said can. you don't like zombie, but Miley Cyrus is zombie. You can get down with. I mean, yeah. she can sing. Yeah, I don't like some of her music out. because it of. Is sing. Yeah, but like, I don't like she any can of her sing. Stuff. That, that cover <sighs> shit. That she I does I like. honestly, this is gonna sound gay as hell. I like Seven Things that she sung when she was country. Chris, I like her country shit. Song. But like, I'm a I'm a I'm a obviously a person who can enjoy all kinds of music. Mm. Um, Me too. Um, Paige. Your cousin actually brought out a song to me the other day. It's German death metal, and you would fucking dig it, dude. Is it a? Uh, is it a? Uh, um, Ramstein? No, no, but it, it oh, okay. reminds okay. me of Ramstein gotcha. a little bit. Like I'll, I'll tell you right now when I go look for the name. Cause it's I don't listen hard. to Ramstein, but I want to go to one of their concerts because yes. I got uh, guy, yes. guy who, what lead singer comes out with a goddamn flamethrower? Come on, that's fucking that awesome. Bad, that's metal. That, that is bad. That is metal. That's metal. No, hey, I'll bad. just that's I'll metal. just send it to you. It's a lot. It's from. Do you ever hear of Hansel and Gretel? Yes, Angelo has mentioned them to me yes, before. I'm pretty sure. So it's fucking Uber Death Party is what they're called. Yeah, I think I think I've heard of them. But yeah, I'll I'll go ahead and just send that to you because I I don't want to. Spell it out loud because it's just that's just too long. It's fuck with two Ks. It's German. Oh, come on, it's it's yeah, it's, it's German. Fucking. Um, but yes, that's shit. It, it it honestly slaps. And like I said, I'm over here. I just told you my favorite type of music was soul and indie. Well, I don't want to say but indie, you pop, liked, but indie but you liked that. independent music. And then here I am listening to fucking German death metal. Like yeah. I can listen yeah, to yeah. whatever yeah, the fuck like- you give me. Yeah, that, that's like me. I'm over here listening to Cannibal Corpse one second, and then the next second I have Frank Sinatra on. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Is <laughs> there there listening to Cannibal Corpse, and next thing you know, the song Frozen comes. <laughs> Let it go. Hey, I got some Disney music saved. I won't admit it. <laughs> hey. Hey, it is what, you know? Oh, you can't that's say I'm not song. Variety. <laughs> It's that piano music, though, that gets people. It's like, oh, I listen to all kinds of music. Then I send them a song that's just completely piano. They're like, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. You, maybe you not that. Music, but you listen to Beethoven? Like, come what's on, your, bro. I was going to say, what's your opinion on Beethoven's number nine sonata? Underrated. Underrated. 100% classic, underrated. underrated. Classic music, underrated, all the way. Every really? fucking classic music, honestly. Yep. I'm gonna I'm be real. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I do not care opinion. if I've never even heard of the person before. I'm gonna okay, say, here. straight up say, underrated. Yeah. I've got, since we're on the classical <coughs> music, here you go. Trans Siberian Orchestra. Fucking awesome. <laughs> fucking awesome. badass. I love them. That's a combo opener for sure. It really is. Like, 
Look, I'm just gonna I'm gonna be straightforward. If I meet someone new and they say they like any type of music, okay. my brain my brain just looks right at them. I'm like, is that right? Because I got about ten thousand songs on this fucking yep. phone, yep. and I guarantee you, there's a song on here that you're gonna be like, what genre even is that? Yeah, what what even is this? And, and I, I get that to a point because obviously there's a lot of genres that I've never even heard of, and I'm like even in metal, I'm just like, what? What is that? <laughs> one of one of the most openers I'm gonna give you guys to my type of music that you might not have a clue. And Alex listened to this before. I don't know if you have Ethan, but if you really wanted to get to know what kind of music I can get into, look up Joanna Newsom. Yep. That is... Never heard of her, so... Book of Right On. And I uh, promise you right fucking now, you're gonna be like, what the fuck okay. is this? Ethan, Ethan do you know... If I, say An- if I say Andy Samberg, do you know who I'm talking about? No. Lonely Island, he's from Saturday Night Live? No. Okay, it's his woman that Chris is actually okay. talking about. We didn't know that until way after. Hey, here, no. Here's a good one. Here's a good opener, too. Misfits. Oh, well. Horror punk, baby. We're talking about all those. We never even mentioned Marilyn Manson. Well, that's because we did him last time. Yeah. Uh, but you said horror punk, and it just made me think of this, yeah. this Halloween. Because I was just singing that the other day. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, no, definitely. His version it's, it's, is fucking a fucking killer of that, dude. I know. He, he did it, it, he, he's another one that can do a cover to a song and just fucking... And, and, and that's it. what he's done. Kills he's done so many time. covers of music. Sweet dreams, so, like yeah. bro. Sweet dream. That is my Earth favorite how do you version take, of Sweet Dreams. How do you take an '80s pop song and make it creepy? Oh, just let Marilyn Manson have it. <laughs> just give Marilyn Manson the rights to it, and you, you'll find out. Yep. Here, here, take my song and make it creepy. Like that's all you need to that's do. That's kind of like Corn with gotcha. their song "Shoots and Ladders." You know, it's it's literally like. It's it's a bunch of lullabies that are now turned creepy. It's like whoa. Whoa! But to be fair, I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna put them down or anything. But if you actually listen to the lullaby, like real lullabies, all lullabies are, are they are dev- yeah yeah. Um, so if we're gonna be talking about bands that do covers. Disturb. Never, oh my God. never botched a fucking cover in their they entire never life. Botched. Hey, one of one of my favorite covers is from Disturbed, and that is Sound of Silence. Well, of that, I think so, I yeah, think that, that's that. everyone's favorite. Dude, like, his, his voice. I'm oh, just yeah, getting a got, boner right now thinking of it. Okay, <laughs> like, that guy's voice got, is fucking. He's got incredible. an angelic. He he could sing you to sleep, but then also terrify the living shit out of you. That's what I love about. <laughs> yeah, he like could. <laughs> you just literally hit it on the head right there. Yeah, sing you to sleep, or you can fucking be that, creeped that, the fuck that's out. How, oh, that's a, that reminds me of another band, Opeth. Opeth is Opeth. a Norwegian. You know, they're Norwegian. Like, I wouldn't say death metal. They're definitely not death metal, but. I never heard them, but you did. You did talk to me about them before. Yeah, and and a lot of their music, it's not really about death. That's what makes death metal death metal. It's like it's a lot of death and like end of the world shit. Their their music's like heavy, like that. You know, you can't understand what he's saying because you don't. (laughs) But then he comes in there, and it's kind of like Ginger. He shocks you. He has that like angelic voice. It's like dude, Ginger. Ginger just fucking blew my mind. You know what? Honestly, (laughs) I think we are gonna do a little bit. Song. I had dad listen to one song from them, which is that one. And he was like, I don't know about this. But now he's like, yeah, Ginger's fucking awesome. I love him. <laughs> I was like, I told you, dad. So uh, we are going to do a react video real quick. Oh, boy. Oh, here boy. we go. Um, why is that not in my watch later list? <laughs> Babe, do you got any bands? Yeah. Overrated, underrated? Oh, she has to think. She's thinking. I know, that's what I hate, is having to think of the... So I'm gonna wait till... Just, just say a name, all. Okay, here we go. No. Okay. Okay, so we're at. Let me let me find this out real quick before right, I go too you far. Gotta find the area. Yeah, yeah, you got to find the area which which I'm talking about. But while we're on the topic, uh, Megan mentioned System of a Down. Overrated, hundred <laughs> percent. 
<laughs> yeah, now I know you're bullshit. The system of a down? Come on. There are other... They're always going to be underrated, in my opinion. Oh, they yeah. Are. Underrated, 100%. They, they're... First, okay. well, all their albums are fucking gold. But their first two, like, come on. I don't skip a single goddamn song from those albums. Even their, you know, their songs that are, like, Middle Eastern and stuff like that. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and full screen this. Here's the react. I already reacted to it, so this ain't going to be a genuine reaction no more. But listen to her, her voice. Like I said, I can only play 10 seconds at a okay. time. Okay. We can't even hear it anymore. Megan just gave me another one, but we'll wait till Chris is like. Alright, so her voice is very sweet right there, right? Let's uh, fast forward here. <laughs> like, oh yeah, she's she has an amazing voice. She's gonna unmute. I like how it's, I like how it's uh, most replayed <laughs> right there where I'm at going yep, to. Yep, so, most so, replayed. Off now, this is, this is where my face went, huh? Alright. He's like, just get a good look at her, uh, everybody. <laughs> ah, this is why I love reactions, baby. You don't know what the fuck you're gonna get. I fucking love it. Damn. <laughs> you got oh, ice. she's. She look, look. Let me just go back to like maybe a little zoom out. Look, look that motherfucker is a hundred. Not even a hundred thirty. She's a hundred twenty, maybe, maybe. I don't know, but she ain't that big. And that that voice, I don't know, man. I just feel like oh, bro, <laughs> might be she a is devil much. or a demon inside of her, bro. She she is one of the sweetest people you'll ever meet, too. She's. Uh, I saw her do an interview recently, and she was guessing if it was an animal or a person making the oh sound. Oh my god! And, and she was, she was like, she was so intrigued because she was like, "I don't listen to this kind of music," and I'm like, "You don't listen to that?" And I'm like, "It kind of makes sense." Cause she's like, "Oh no, Lamb of God's my inspiration for doing this shit." I'm like, "Oh okay, fair enough. They're not really like that heavy, but they are heavy." Yeah, yeah, but... yeah. Look, I know I didn't have my uh, YouTube. I know I didn't have my reaction up there, but it was it was this right here. Let me just read. Let's see. <laughs> like look, even Zoe's shocked. Even yeah, look, she's like, <laughs> "What is that, bro?" Is there a demon in the house? Look at her eyes, bro. She's turning into the demon. Uh, yeah. Now that's so, so, like right there. Green eyes. She's a pretty girl. So, so Megan brought up a good one, a really good one, might I add, and she said spirit box. I don't even know if that's. And that's exactly the reaction right there. I was gonna say I. Spirit box. There. Look, the only new. spirit box I know about is the it's goddamn the thing you use a ghost. <laughs> you yeah, go but... for ghost hunting, bro. But you'll have to listen to her too. Or it's a female singer, and uh, but they're they're brand new. That's the other thing. They just started like last year or two years okay. ago. And obviously, obviously, COVID. That's that's kind of a terrible time to start. Yeah, but... that's uh, that's a horrible time. That don't mean. I mean, they might break out though. You never know. Like oh, they they are. They're starting to like. People are starting to be like, oh, Spirit Box are pretty damn good. They are. They they kind of remind me a little bit of Ghost, but. Not a hundred percent. That's kind of ironic. Ghost spirit. But that, that's the same thing. That's the same way with like Tom McDonald. I think he kind of started throwing that COVID era bullshit. Yeah. So it's kind of like, and, oh, uh, what the fuck was that guy? He sung with Aaron, Aaron Calhoun or something. Yeah, something like that. Man, that guy has a song that's like it'll blow you away, bro. Yeah, Tox. I I don't know. I just I actually, unless you guys send me songs, I don't get into like the newer music. That's kind of how Cir I am. Circle I with really me is slept on. Toke says, "What is it?" Circle with me, the the band you're talking about. Uh, Spirit box. Spirit box. Oh, okay, okay. See, I I don't know that song, so. Oh, okay. Is that a new one? It's got 20 oh, okay. million. No, nah, it's got 20 million motherfucking plays yeah. on fucking Spotify. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, but you see, 20 million, you still don't know who they are. Like, I mean. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. The one underneath, the one underneath yeah. that was like a thousand or something. Like, yeah. So it's nine, nine, like million. nine million. Nine million, five million. 
they mean... aren't really well known, but they're really good. So, and they're not something I can listen to all the time. I can listen to a couple songs, and I'm like, okay, I've had enough. But they're they're still good regardless. And um, so back to my previous point about Cole Davidson. Speaking of that, um, one reason why I'm I'm obviously clearly biased on him is because. He sent me a song that's not even like out. Out. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like I'm gonna be clearly a little biased, but like what artist does that? He yeah, literally I, sent I mean, I got it on my phone, I got it on my computer, and I hope the fuck this little baby stays there forever because if I lose it, I'm gonna cry. You're gonna be upset. <laughs> um it was it was obviously me and Alex's uh dance. That was that was the song that he he sent oh. me personally. So it's like I, I had that song before we did our dance and it was like, What artist sends you a song? Yep. And he's like, What's your email? Could I ask him where it was? He's like, Oh, well what's your email? And I give him my email. He's like, Check your email. There it was. Like, holy fuck. Like, thank you, dude. Yeah, so it's that's... like that's it, it's awesome. stuff like that Beautiful. that makes an artist incredible incredible to me. Because we talked about that earlier, about how, like, some of the artists, like Macklemore, um, Little Dicky, and everyone, like, you know, they give back to the community. And I, I love, I love that. And every artist that does that will always be underrated to me. Oh, did you guys ever see that video of Post Malone? Uh, he was playing Apex one day, right, on his Twitch. Oh and, my god. He, he was raising donations and he was like, guys, if we get to, I think it was like 100,000, 300,000, something like that, I'll do a backflip on live stream. Oh or, my god. Like, like right away. And they reached it. And he was like, all right, guys, I'm going to do it. And then he, <laughs> it was so fucking funny. Did he, but, did he land a backflip? No, he didn't. <laughs> he, he like, he like, he's so funny. And then he just fell. He's like, that's he's the best so I could do, guys. No, he's so funny. <laughs> That was during COVID, I think, so... I think um, next week, let's pick up back where we're going to leave off right now because we're about an hour and 30 minutes in. We can talk about music all day long. Obviously, clearly, we love yeah, music. Obviously. Uh, we didn't touch some of the artists yet, like Dax and all them. But, um, yeah, I, I feel like we should definitely pick this up next week. So, Tokes, feel free to come back next Monday with Murdoch as long as we don't have a baby yet. Um, 9 p.m., you know the deal. Uh, we're going to be talking. Maybe I can pull up a little bit of React video, too. Like, we can actually... Be there or be square. Yeah, be there or be square. I can make I'll a new scene. I'll see you scene. in the ring next Monday. <laughs> I'm going to get, I'm gonna get a, a, a playlist on YouTube of of covers. The originals and then yep. the covers. Okay, that's a good idea. I, I'm going to go ahead and start... We we can kind of make it a playlist. We can st still just kinda just to like... look at Ethan's face, he says. Oh my god. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna get a, a YouTube. I'm gonna get my my other account up, so there's no fucking nothing on it. Um. Uh, we, we can search on there. I'll even make a new scene and everything for my my Twitch layout and shit, so it's easier for me to go back and forth, so you can actually see my face during the reaction. Um. So yeah. Next Monday, be there or be square. Um, again, I was a little late this Monday because obviously Christmas weekend. I didn't even notice. Oh. <laughs> Saturday, <laughs> Saturdays Tuesday, with right? uh, their grandma. Um, Sunday, I was with my grandma. Monday, I was with my mom. So Christmas weekend, I'm always, you know, it's usually busy. So that's why it's Mondays with Murdoch. On a Tuesday, a little weird, right? But hey, we're still here. We're still doing it. We're going to do it every weekend or every week. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, it's always a pleasure to have people in the chat. So thank you, Tokes, for joining in. Um, get a list ready, Tokes. If you're coming that by next Monday, go ahead yeah, and just get a list ready. If we know the people, we're going to name them. We're going to we're gonna talk about them. If we don't, I'll do a little react if I can. And uh, maybe I think next week we'll just kick it right off. I'd say, yeah. you know, so do, like we did a little opening today, which was obviously planned. So we did get about an hour of talking in with that 30 minutes with gift opening. Jesus Christ, Alex. I don't know why you got so many gifts for Cadence. Yeah, Jesus. Goddamn. Um, but yeah, I, I'm probably going to be live here in the next like 10, 15 minutes again, playing like maybe Go Simulator or something. I don't know yet. Um, but yeah. yeah, love you guys. Peace out. Say bye to Ethan 
and Alex. Adios. We'll see you next Monday. Love y'all. Mwah.